Hey YouTube, in my fifth video on how to build a computer for beginners, I want to talk to you about how to pick out RAM when you buy, buy the components to build your new system. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll by this time have picked out your processor and your motherboard. Well, the best way to begin picking out your RAM is to go to the product page for your motherboard and look for the compatible RAM type that you'll need. So you can see, uh, assuming that you get, just for example, the ASUS C77 board shown here, uh, this board can support four physical sticks of 240-pin DDR3 type RAM uh, at any of these speeds shown below. 1600 and 1333 are standard speeds for DDR3, where these higher numbers um, with the OC next to them, standing for overclock, uh, are just higher frequencies that you can run your memory at if you so choose. So I think uh, the most logical choice for picking out RAM is to buy uh, the highest rated speed uh, that is standard and not overclocked because uh, overclocking RAM really doesn't earn you much performance yet if you buy uh, RAM that's rated for these higher speeds you'll end up paying a lot more so I just don't think it's worth it so uh, on Newegg if you go to computer hardware then to memory desktop memory because we're building a desktop computer and we have a desktop motherboard. You can then sort by any of these following options capacity, price, manufacturer, type. Uh, I would definitely sort by type first 240 pin DDR3, which again we saw was what the motherboard supported. And we have <laughs> 900 products to choose from still. So the next thing I would sort by is actually capacity. Now, if you expand to see all your options, you'll see anywhere from 2 to 64 gigs is what you can buy. Now, back in the motherboard page, you saw that you had four physical slots, so that means you're going to want to have either two sticks or four sticks, um, whatever you buy. So uh, any of these here, well, you can see the first number is your capacity, how many gigs total. The second number here is number of physical sticks, and the third number is how many gigs you get per physical stick. So these are all one stick. These are two sticks. You can get four gigs. 6 gigs, it comes in a multiple of 3, which really doesn't work for us when we have 4. So, same as 12 here, multiples of 3 instead of 2. So, really the best options are 8 gigs in 2 physical sticks of 4, or 16 gigs in 2 physical sticks of 8. If you want to go higher than that, I would go uh, with 4 by 8. So, um, just for example, say you wanted to go with... 8 gigs, 2 physical sticks of 4 gigs each, we'll have 231 choices to choose from. Select that. Now instead of choosing by speed, as I said before, I would actually start shopping by price and manufacturer. So if you choose lowest price to sort by, you'll see you can get 8 gigs of RAM for as low as 50 bucks. It actually was 40 not too long ago when I got mine, but either way RAM is pretty cheap. It's a commodity item, so there's really not a whole lot to picking out RAM. Just make sure you have the correct type so it's compatible, uh, a recognized, well-established brand, which I can point out to you, the good ones, in a little bit here. Uh, competitive price, lower voltage is better, lower timing is better, and a higher um, higher bandwidth speeds are better but I really wouldn't pay any extra for better timing lower voltage or higher speeds beyond the 1600 which is the highest standard frequency so just to maybe narrow down the list a little bit choose you can choose 1600 at this point we'll still have 100 options to choose from now as far as manufacturers go there's quite a few the ones I would recommend uh, probably most highly are Corsair Mushkin, G-Skill has come up in the past few years, and I think a lot of people like them. I've never had any G-Skill. Uh, I would just read reviews on any particular kit you want to buy and see what people say. Kingston is good. Crucial is good. I've had some Patriot that was good, but I would really stick with, with those groups. Corsair is, I think, my, my favorite right now. But uh, So you'll see now... We've got about 18 to choose from, and cast latency and voltage are still options, but any of these are probably what you want. If you go to their product page, you can see what these different series are from. Uh, this Vengeance type is a pretty good series. 
but again, there's really not much of a difference once you get to this point. So, um, I would probably, among these shown, I would actually probably go with one of these Corsair Vengeance ones. There's been a lot of reviews on them. You can see 740 people, 743 people have bought this and left and left a review, whereas only two people bought this, 44 bought this. So, clicking on this, you can read all about it and if you click on feedback, you can see what people had to say, any issues they had, but that's pretty much it. RAM, as long as you get the same type and speed, should be compatible with your motherboard. If you really want to double check, you can go to the manufacturer's website for the motherboard, and they will have, if you, you have to look around, but you can find a big long list of all the specific memory kits from their manufacturers that are compatible with their motherboards, but pretty much that's as simple as it gets. Don't spend too much time worrying about it and don't pay too much uh, because you really won't be getting a good return on your investment. But yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do to pick out RAM for a new system. So uh, be looking for my uh, next videos on how to pick video cards and power supplies. And if you haven't watched the beginning of the series, I encourage you to do so just to give you some context and. Uh, um, the steps we've taken so far to help you pick out uh, components for your new computer. Thanks for watching.